Hey, it's late February in Michigan and the temperatures are in the 40s. Last week we were breaking records here in Michigan. We were up into the 60s. And the interesting thing is, you know, when people talk about climate change and we may or may not have climate change, but I think Michigan's gonna come out pretty good in this deal. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Um, have you ever had a situation where you planted a young tree like this uh, fir in the back here? and uh, the top died, what do you do? Well, fir trees are known for their symmetry and they look really well balanced. But when the top dies, you've got a bit of a problem. So right now I'm gonna show you something that you can do to save a young tree. Step one, we're gonna trim off all the side branches that are growing so that we have one central branch left here. We're only taking off the dead material. Now I really don't need this entire uh, length here, so I can cut it off about halfway if I wish. Okay, that's what we do first. The second step is to take a nice healthy side branch like this one here and what we're going to do is bend it upward like this and this will become our new dominant leader and then this should correct our problem so i'm going to use a zip tie here to hold it in place and we want it as close to vertical as we can get it Okay, that's all we need to do. If you want to put a second zip tie up here, you can. I'll wait and see if I need it. And now I'm going to take you over to a couple of trees where I've already done this, where I was had some damage, one from a deer and one from uh, the top dying, and we'll see what it looks like. Here's a fir tree that I corrected about three or four years ago. And as I bring the camera in closer, you can see where it had its difficulty. But the tree is growing just fine right now. Uh, you can see where the branch kind of went off to the side. That's the one that I um, used to go vertical. And uh, as you look at the tree now, as we pull back from the tree, you have to really get in there and look to see where the problem was. And I want to show you one more that's a little bit older. You have to walk to another location though. Here's another fir tree that I did this on. Uh, I don't know if we can see up here or not where I trained it. You can see the remnants. Let's uh, come around this way. This was the old wood, which could have been pruned off a long time ago. This is the old wood that was the support structure for the new central leader. And as you can see, this leader went on to become the central point of the tree. And it's quite symmetrical. I do need to come in here and cut off that little stub. It shouldn't be there. One of the things that you want to avoid doing is using string to hold the branch in place because if you forget about the string, you can end up with this problem. Um, I'll show you because I forgot to and uh, I can still get it out, but uh, it could cause a problem for the tree later on. So take a look. The string is actually starting to grow into the tree here and this should have been taken out a long time ago. Um, it's not going to damage the tree too much, but it is something that you want to avoid doing and that's why I like the the, uh, the uh, little tie that I use today and there are other things that you, you can use But you need to be sure that you're not going to cause a problem for the tree in terms of girdling the branch So that's a quick and easy way that you can repair a fir tree uh, It may work on uh, some other types of trees like pine trees if you catch them when they're really young But the larger the tree gets the more difficult that becomes because you can't uh, bend the branch upward so that's a quick way to uh, save your tree, and I hope that was helpful.